If you are a complete guitar beginner or an intermediate guitar player, then you might have noticed that your left hand technique is lacking some basic qualities like strength, finger independence and dexterity. And if that's the case, then today's exercise is for you. Hi there, Gregor here. And today's exercise is called the Amazing Spider exercise. And it's basically a finger independence exercise. But you work simultaneously on other qualities like finger strength and dexterity as well while doing it. So let me first play it slow for you. This exercise is basically a 7 step pattern, so let's go through each and every step so that you know what you need to play. Step 1. Put your first finger on the 5th fret on a B string and your 3rd finger on the 7th fret on a D string. Step 2. Put your 2nd finger on the 6th fret on a B string and your 4th finger on the 8th fret on a D string. Step 3. Put your 3rd finger on the B string on the 7th fret and your first finger on the 5th fret on the D string. Step 4. Put your 4th finger on the 8th fret on a B string and your 2nd finger on the 6th fret on a D string. Step 5. Put your 3rd finger on the 7th fret on a B string and your 1st finger on the 5th fret on a D string. Step 6. Put your uh, second finger on the 6th fret on a B string and your 4th finger on the 8th fret on a D string. And step 7, put your 1st finger on the 5th fret on a B string and your 3rd finger on the 7th fret on a D string. So that was the pattern. And now you shift the position and you repeat the pattern again. There are two things that you need to keep in mind. The first thing is fret every note with your fingertips. So fret every note like this. You definitely need to take care of your finger positions and your finger positions need to look like this. So fingertip like this and not like this. The next thing is that you need to take care of your thumb posture. What do I mean by this? Just in case that you have difficulties to produce clean notes while playing this exercise, it might be that you have the wrong thumb posture. It's important that you keep the thumb relaxed and that you put the fingertip of your thumb on the middle of your fretboard and do not bend your thumb over. So keep this joint here relaxed, like this. If you play it like this, it's definitely harder. You can try it on your own. So keep your thumb relaxed. All right, in order to make this exercise as effective as possible, it's necessary that you practice it on a regular basis. Practice it at least three times a week. And if it's possible, practice it on a daily basis. How long should you practice this exercise? I would suggest that you practice this exercise at least 2 to 5 minutes, but without stopping. Keep in mind that's a precision exercise and not a speed exercise, so practice it slowly and precisely, and then you are bound to be successful. Well done! I hope that this exercise will be of great use for you and that it will help you to develop your left hand technique. I would appreciate some feedback from you, so let me know what you think of it or post, post me any questions in the comments down below. And if you want to dive deeper in this exercise, I have written a blog post and I put the link down below and there you can see some tabs as well. So stay tuned and see you soon. <laughs>